Brian, congratulations. Another year with the Ospreys, signed, sealed and delivered. You must be pretty happy about that. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, I am. It's great to be at the club. As I've been here since I'm 15 now. I'm 27, so I've been here a long time. I've come all the way through the academy system and I love the club here. I'm grateful to be here. I've had a tough year, or well, tough few years, I should say, but um, it's great to be here. You're back in training full-time now and you're knocking on the door. You'll be looking to make up for lost time and perhaps make an impact, if not towards the end of the season, through next year. Uh, yeah, it's great to be back in training and available for selection for the coaches. Uh, at the same time, there are great players here as well, so that's why I like the environment being here. It's good to have competition, it's healthy to have competition as well. And um, I'm excited just to be back out on the pitch, and that's the first and foremost thing, is just to be training at the moment. Hopefully get a bit of game time, if not, then just obviously pre-season look on to next season. As you've touched on, that number one jersey is particularly t you know, intense competition, so whoever gets to wear that on a match of the Ospreys is doing pretty well. Yeah, there's, uh, it was all four of us in contention, really, isn't it? And um, it's, it's a good good place to be. And it, as coaches will say, it's a healthy to have competition to push you. And yeah, whoever's in that, that shirt is, uh, should take up a pride. As a player on the long term injury list, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to stay focused and keep, keep your head going. Um, but you, perhaps more than others, have used that time wisely uh, while you've been out over the last couple of seasons. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it is hard. I think I think some people understand it's a, it's a long time when you're injured and it's hard watching your fellow work colleagues train and play and you're sat on the sideline just doing rehab and just watching them play and progress and you're not part of that. But um, yeah, I've been fortunate enough to have a, a young family, so that's one thing. And also I've opened my own butcher shop, Puthcall Butchers. So um, I'm just looking for life ahead and long-term career after rugby. So I'm 27 now, so I'm just uh, looking for the future. Where did the interest in butchery come from? Because it seems uh, a big step from a professional rugby player. Well, I'm a front row and I like my food, so that's what makes up for a lot of it. But it's just something that's been in the family years ago. It's something I wanted to do. And where I live in Portugal, my hometown, I thought it was something that we needed. And I just went for it and so I'd give it a go. And how's business going? Yeah, it's great. I really enjoy it. I work on my off days as much as I can. I'm there every Saturday if I can be. And uh, working and learn as much as I can. And then um, my other butchers run the shop and they teach me as much as I can. And likewise, I try and help as much as I can. So with both Cole Butchers up and running, Ryan Bevington fit and up and running again. And the new contract, yeah. it's a good time to be Ryan Bevington. Uh, I don't know about that, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a good time uh, for everything. And I just want to get back on the pitch and play as much as I can now.